In this video, I'm going to give some tips and tricks for picking the Lagarde 2270. Lock Noob has a great video explaining about how it works and how to make a pick. So if you have not seen that already, I highly recommend it. I will link it in the description below. One of the first things I want to mention is a mistake that I made. And if you are making a pick from a key, there is normally a lip right here. And I did not grind that down at first and I left this lip and that led my pick to be stuck in the lock. So you definitely want to make sure you grind this part down so there's no lip. Um, if your pick does become stuck like mine was, my pick was stuck at the back of the lock on the drive cam and so I was able to rotate the pick and the drive cam to the right about 180 degrees. And what I did then is I simply inserted a piece of stiff wire, some piano wire, down the large groove in the key and inserted it all the way in so that when I rotated my pick back to its starting position, the wire picked up all of the wheels and realigned them so that my stuck pick could be removed from the lock. Also, some additional tips here. When grinding this key down, you want to make sure you want to grind away this smaller groove that is on there. You want to go past it just a bit. Um, this will allow you to rotate each wheel to its fullest. If you do not, then a wheel which needs to be rotated to its fullest will not be able to be set in that position by your pick. On this other side, you want to grind it past the start of this groove in the key just past it a little bit as you can see here and what this does is if you don't grind it enough then when you are rotating your pick back to its starting position then that side will actually hit and knock wheels out of position if you uh, do not grind it down enough so i grind it just past the groove on one side and then just past this groove on the other side and for the tip, I just leave it as thick as I can, but just thin enough so that it's able to freely rotate in between each wheel without picking any up. Now, the basic principles of picking this lock still apply from Lock News video, so I highly recommend you watch that first. The difference here is I actually will rotate the drive cam to the drop-in point first before I do anything. And the reason for that is because if I rotate this drive cam to the drop-in point, you can see here that the fence will not ever touch that drive cam. And the fence will always rest on the wheels. This avoids having to tilt your pick and push the wheels into the fence if the lock is especially deep behind a thick door, for instance, you will not be able to apply the proper amount of force and tilt to the pick to push the wheels into the fence. It also avoids an issue of bending or breaking a pick due to the amount of force that you might be using to press the wheels into the fence. So here, after I rotate the drive cam to the drop-in point, that is when this key change line, this smaller groove on the key, is pointing vertically. Then I will take the pick and I will proceed to pick each of the wheels. And the way I do that is I will rotate them in place and feel for any scraping. Now I actually feel some scraping here. And you can feel when you're in a gate or whether it's a true gate or a false gate because you can feel the ridges. And I can feel there's some more resistance here and here. So in between those two points is the true or false gate. And so I just turn past that ridge into the next one. I don't feel scraping there, so I will leave it. And it does not matter if we are in a true or false gate here at this point, as we can keep repeating this process until all of the gates are lined up and we are only in true gates. Now I go, come back out one wheel, and that feels pretty smooth. So I leave it between these two points that I can feel here and here. Yeah, these two points, so I'll leave it somewhere in between. Go 
come back to a previous wheel. There's some scraping there. Turn to the next gate. Definitely scraping there still. Hmm. Not so much there. So I'll leave it there and then come back to the uh, first wheel. Scraping. Let's go to the next one. That feels. Oh. And it's very common for your pick to slip off of the wheels. Um, you just kind of have to know where your pick is. Here we go, back onto the first wheel. All right, I'll leave it here. Go back to this third or second wheel, sorry. It's doing a little bit of scraping. I'll turn it past the next ridge. Oh, that feels pretty smooth. Um, let's get back on that wheel here. Okay, so there's that ridge, just slightly past it. All right, on to the third wheel. It feels really smooth in between these points, and these points also feel rather solid, so I have a feeling I may be in a true gate here. So I'll leave that. The fourth wheel. And it's important that you rotate it in place, because if you are in a true gate, you don't want to rotate out of it. Um... Wow, that's a lot of scraping still. And that immediately went really smooth. And the, the um, ridges on either side of this gate feel pretty solid. So I think I'm in a true gate here. So I think I've got the last two wheels there set. Now if I come to this second wheel... Definitely some scraping, turn it past this next ridge. And that is a click. So that is the sound of the fence falling into the gates. And at this point, you should actually not be able to move any wheels. So you know you have it picked using this method because none of the wheels will rotate out of the gates. So you can just go to the drive cam and turn it to open.